Hello everybody. Just now getting off work. Uh, it's like 7.30 in the morning. Had a lot of coffee last night so I'm pretty wide awake. Gonna try to stay up all night. Or, well, I guess it's technically day but it's my night. So I wanna sleep tonight. All right. So I've had this Ultra View here for six months now. And I'm gonna give you guys my honest opinion on it. What I think about it, pros and cons. Um, I'm not gonna beat it up too bad, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna just explain to you guys some of the stuff that I like about it, some of the stuff I don't like about it. And uh, yeah, we'll jump right into this. So, so first off, I've had this thing now for six months. I shot every 3D tournament that I have shot so far with this scope, minus one or two. And that was the um, Bow Hunter Freestyle and my first tournament because I didn't have this, I uh, actually didn't have the bow yet, but I did shoot, I think, six 3D tournaments with it. The, uh, the battery has lasted. I've only put, uh, I've shot this thing almost every single day for at least two to three hours at a time. And um, I think I've put two sets of batteries in it. But the way that I have this thing laced up here, well, I call it laced up, but my fiber, my filament, is I ran it through the, you know, of course, to the housing. And then I, I came up from the bottom and I put my fiber right there into the middle. Now, I found that this method worked the best, especially in... Uh, in sunlight, there had been times in uh, where I shot whole 3D tournaments and never once cut my light on. This thing pulled in enough light that uh, you know I didn't have to worry about turning my light on. Now, with that being said, this filament's like super hard to, to get straight inside the scope housing. So I did. Uh, I kind of just had to learn how to shoot it. Um, I have another buddy of ours, was kind of family, he bought the four power. This is the six, and he just done his filament like where you just cut it about an inch long or about a half an inch long and melt both sides. I actually tried that in the beginning, and I had a very hard time keeping that filament steady. Now the UV three here, it does come with an assortment of stickers that you can use as a you know, as different sighting apparatuses. But I had trouble, I wish that they had black. If they would've came with black, I think that they'd have done really good. So all of these shooting in sunlight, you could not see it. So I go out there and shoot field range in, sun, in sunlight, direct sunlight, and these were pretty much worthless. Could not see with them. Um, I believe that a black would do really good. Saying that my other tournament, bow, my other, uh, I call it turning bow, mother target bow. I've got a, uh, a large, which I'll go get it. I've got a larger millimeter scope with a black dot, and that thing I can see everything with it. So I will say the construction of this thing is phenomenal. I mean, it's it's solid. It doesn't make any racket. Um, I've got it mounted here on a CBE site, and the way that this thing is cut, I mean, this is this is a you know just a factory site. I have done no modifications or nothing. It bolts directly to it perfectly. So, on indoor, with the six power, I've noticed this thing is, I mean, it is a hammer. I can go out there and shoot six, or shoot 300 round, and I mean, it's, it's easy to do. I can dang near X every single thing. But, there is some, uh, there is some flaws with this thing. Some things that I wish that they would have, which they did change whenever they came out with the larger one. But we'll get into that in just a second. All right, so like I was saying, um, now I have noticed, like, I don't know if that's maybe where I've over tightened it. Well, I don't think I've over tightened it. I've just barely put a pressure on it. But I noticed that that like this back piece right here isn't seating really tight against that. Not that it makes a big difference. 
Um, you know, this thing, uh, I haven't, I'll tell you, I've shot this thing a lot. I do have a little bit of dirt in there. The way I like to clean it is with a Q-tip. I'm kind of getting sidetracked on the video, but the dirt is driving me nuts. And if you want a good way to clean, especially like a lens like this, I like to use a, a Q-tip. It, it's not too, too invasive there. It won't tear it up, but you know, this thing's easy to, you know, swap out cartridges and everything, you know, as, as they say on the videos. But um, a couple things I want to touch on. So I did notice, and even with the four power, I did notice that um, it was really different, uh, different <laughs> difficult to actually acquire your target while 3D shooting. So we shot known 40 class. And, um, you know, I looked at it through a four power and a six power and it just, it, I, I, I'm guessing because it's such a narrow window here that you're actually looking through, it was hard to make out where you were on the target. It was hard to find the target. So, well, on 3D animals. Now... Maybe if I wasn't running magnification and I was running the hunter, it would be just fine. But I noticed with this smaller diameter, whenever you're looking out through there, there was times where I would just have to like find the head of the animal and just follow the body, find the leg, move up, and, and about guess where my tin ring was. Now, if I had light, it would make it a little bit easier. But I noticed in low light conditions, if the 3D target was in bushes or, you know, in low light conditions, it was virtually impossible to see. Now, my other scope, which is a larger diameter, it was very easy to make out the target because you could see the entire animal itself in the, you know, in the, in the scope. That, that was, that was a big downfall for me. Um, I don't like how narrow the window is right here. Uh, I'm running a clear fire peep. Um, I believe it's like the specialty archery or specialty peep deal. I don't remember which number exactly that I'm using for uh, for this scope because um, uh, it normally goes by you know how however you see you know however your eyes see um, you know I have noticed it, it's been a little bit challenging to kind of keep this thing tight um, which it could just be this this scope set up but it does have a little bit of in play or you know up and down right here in between the fitment of this bar and this but they say since this thing is 100% in the center it won't throw off your shot none at least that's what they say uh, or ultra view says you know all in all it really is a good scope there's just a couple of, you know, things which I'm hoping that the uh, the newest one, the larger housing, I'm anxious to shoot it. I'm anxious to get one and try it. You know, I'm not knocking this thing at all. It's just, you know, for field, this thing is a hammer. Like I can shoot field great with this thing. Now, like I said before, it being that, you know, it only comes with, I think, this color, the green, clear, and red. I believe that they needed something a lot brighter or, or maybe something that will define more because I notice if I shoot in the sunlight on, on a, on a uh, field face, I, I, it would, you just you couldn't really see nothing. It was it just kind of like it, it uh, it's hard to explain. But it was almost like it washed out, and, and it was really difficult to make out where your target was and where you needed to be. Um, you know, I, I'd have really liked to have had maybe a different type, maybe like a, a pin or something in there. You know, I did try to cut the filament, which I've got some of them in here that I've cut, and, um, you know, I mushroomed one side. Wound up just having to cut the back side with scissors, but I had enough I could mushroom it again. But I noticed if you do that method, you don't pick up enough light and it doesn't glow enough. So then you really don't see anything. I don't know, guys. I mean, it's up to, you know, 
I'm not knocking it. I mean, this is a great scope. I've shot some good scores with it. But compared to another one, I'm going to go grab the scope, actually. And I'll just let you guys see the difference in the diameter of the scope. So, All right, so as you see on this scope here, which, of course, it's a completely different company, completely different. But this has got like a black dot right here. And this came with it. it you can also put in a fiber. Now, some people like the, you know, the, the, the black dot. This this but this site here. Um, I've only shot field with it, and it shoots phenomenal. I can see the target. This is four power. I can see everything now. I did. I take that back. I did shoot some 3D with it, and I could shoot this scope probably five to ten to twenty times faster than I could shoot this other scope. I could acquire the target because I could see the target. So for comparison, you see that UltraView scope will actually, the whole thing will fit on the inside of this scope. Now that doesn't mean much because each scope has a different, of course has a different uh, purpose. But I just, I feel like UltraView when they built the first scope Maybe they should have went to a larger diameter housing like they did with the new one. Because I would have never bought this scope if I knew that they were coming out with the XL. Now, I know people have had good luck with these. You know, I've had good luck with it. But it does get frustrating whenever you're shooting. You know, there was a couple of targets. I think there was like a, uh, like a boar at 36 yard. It was a little bit in the shade. Not much, um, but you there was you couldn't make out any definition with the target. You couldn't see it. You know, you just you you couldn't you couldn't really make out where you were at. Now, with this target or this site, with this target, with this site, I believe, which I'm going to do some testing too. I would be able to make out the body of the animal. I'd be able to see it completely in the scope, and then I'd be able to you know, of course, place my shot a lot more efficiently than I would be with the ultra view. Now, maybe if I shot one of these unmagnified, it might be awesome. But I did try with a four and I had it and the guy that was with me shot with a four. And uh, I know that he was struggling too. He's like, man, you know, it's a four power scope. And uh, you know, I'm, I'm, it's hard to make out the target. So, I mean, guys, if you're going to get one of these things, I'm not knocking it. Do your research. Um, I would advise getting the XL just because if you're going to shoot 3D or if you're going to shoot field, I believe that the, the larger diameter housing is going to be what you want. I mean, these are still great scopes. Like I said, the battery lasts a long time. It's super bright. You know, you can change all different, uh, you know, brightnesses and darknesses and and all kind of good stuff. Where I don't have that with this scope. This is pretty much, you get what you got. But I can be m way more accurate thus far with field with this scope than I can with this scope, and I've got a feeling that uh, I'll be more accurate with this setup. But I will show you guys what this scope is done, what the Ultra is doing. Hold on. So just a good positive note on the Ultra View, I've actually Robin Hooded four of these eras at 45 yard with the Ultra View. So it does shoot good. And you're capable of Robin Hoods like this. I've done this on a field round. I, uh, on 45 yard, both the time, or all four times that I've Robin Hooded, it's been with this scope, this setup, and it's both, or all four of them has been at 45 yard. So, guys, the Ultra View is a great scope, but I feel like if you're going to shoot field, I would go with the larger housing. If you're going to shoot indoor, this thing shoots great. I mean, it, it works perfectly for indoor, and I've shot it indoor. 
but uh, and I have shot field with it, but up close. But like I said, unless you can put you a black dot in there, when the sun comes up, you're you're not going to see anything. And that's you know I'm not trying to talk down on the scope at all. From personal experience, you're guessing, and you know I, I launch some at 50, 60 yard. And be like five inches this way on one five inches. I'm like, golly, you know, I, I know I don't shoot that bad, but it's just that you can't see. You know, you, you cannot see with the uh, with the light. Maybe if it had more of a powerful light in it, that could really light that thing up. But I still don't think that that would do it. I just think that you need like a like a like a maybe a blue fiber or something a little bit darker, maybe like a dark purple or something that would help uh, with the light. But guys. Oh, I appreciate it. Um, it's a rainy day or I'd go out and shoot. Um, I know this video is probably boring. I'll probably get some hate on it because I know there's a lot of people who are, you know, real fanboys of the Ultraview stuff, but I'm not knocking the Ultraview. I've had great success with it. As you can see, I, I need to level this, uh, this darn scope, this, this thing up. I, I'm not a big fan of this CBE. Man, this Sherlock, I mean, it's like super easy to set up, super to level. I, I wish I actually give a hundred bucks for this Sherlock. And uh, best hundred dollars ever spent on archery stuff. But yeah, this is the Ultra View, guys. It's a great, comes with a box full of goodies. Um, you know, it's all about personal preference. But personally, I would have gone with the larger if I know. So, you guys are watching Merit Outdoor. I hope you guys enjoy this video. Maybe it helped you make a decision on which one you're wanting to get. Um, hopefully in the next couple of months or weeks or so. Uh, I actually had planned on ordering one of these, had the money saved, got sick with COVID, didn't work for four weeks, so that money's gone. But, uh, yeah, you guys have a good day. God bless you. And make sure to like and subscribe. We appreciate it. Let's hit 2,000 subscribers. If you like these videos, share them to the archery pages. Share them to your friends. Um, you know, just trying to help people out out here. So thank you so much. Have a good day. See ya.